David Taylor was a construction supervisor working for Chevron. On June 28th of 2011, David was tasked with looking for what is commonly known in the oil drilling business as a chimney. A chimney is a fissure in the earth where steam and oil periodically spurt into the air. Taylor had been battling a long-standing problem near a dormant well in the Midway Sunset oil field. His job was to control leaks at well 20 in a primordial table of sinkholes, small bubbling pools of scalding water, and geysers that on occasions shoot 40-foot plumes of oil, water, and rocks into the air. The conditions known as surface expressions were in part the results of an oil extraction technique known as fracking. Fracking is a process in which superheated water is shot underground at a high pressure to open pathways to siphon heavy oil. An unintended consequence is that some fluids make their way to the surface through newly created ruptures or via old, broken, or unstable wells. To mitigate the risk for the escaping liquid, state regulations require oil companies to perform an area of review in which they must map and document every well, new and old, plugged or abandoned near an injection site and repair any potential problems. Taylor and two of his co-workers were dispatched to Well 20 on June 21st of 2011. Chevron had been trying to control the well since 1997, spending more than $2 million. The company stopped injections near the area to try to ease a problem, but neighboring oil producers kept up high-pressure injections. More than 30 surface expressions existed within a mile of the well. As the crew walked the site surrounded by landscape dense with new and old wells and miles of pipes and casings, the ground gave way beneath Taylor. He fell feet first into a cavity, falling into 190 degree water and hydrogen sulfide. Co-workers rushed to the brink but could not reach him as they extended a length of pipe for him to grab. Taylor slid further into the 10 foot diameter of crater, being scalded to death by the burning hot liquid. Okay, so uh, we're at the grave of uh, Robert David Taylor. I got a buddy with me uh, who showed me where his grave was and he works in a similar industry, which is uh, oil drilling and fracking. And so can you tell us like how he fell into the ground? It was on the Chevron lease. They were in using injection wells, and I guess it accumulated in a pocket. The ground collapsed, and he fell into a hole. I guess it was full of oil and steam, like 190 degrees. He had a co-worker with him and went to reach for him and couldn't grab him, so he went to go get a pipe, and by the time he came back, he was missing. Okay, so he ran... He went to go get a pipe to, to, to lower to him to, mm -hmm. pull him out. to pull him out. But if you're dealing with 190 degree steam and oil, I mean, you're pretty much done and that's it. Um, a, a friend of mine that used to work out here, he said that uh, there was a gas called H2S, which is very deadly. Mm -hmm. And he, my friend said that he probably died as soon as the gas, as soon as he sniffed the gas. Yeah. So in all likelihood, he didn't suffer because he was just probably unconscious and then that was it and he got swallowed up in the ground uh is there any memorial like is there like so after he after he died they weren't not able to recover his body uh so did they what how did they did they section that place off to where nobody could ever walk over there again or what did they do i can't remember if they got his body um they might have they might have shut the job down and, and dug it out oh uh, okay but um as far as the area goes i haven't been over there but I know it's it's a side road from Taft, but I haven't been on the road to see if there's a memorial there. It's on the property, so probably not. So you, you would think that they would probably just not want some flowers there or something like that because this was just an accident. Yeah. And uh, that's his wife buried with him. She died a few years uh, after he did. So hopefully he didn't suffer. Uh, hopefully he died right away because, uh, you know, this is a very, very dangerous job. Uh, working out here, you're you're working with um, equipment, uh, tools. You can be burned, have you know your limbs cut off. Um, just very, very dangerous. And that fracking has been invented. Um, it's kept the gas prices fairly low, but at certain times, uh, everything has a double-edged sword. And fracking has not been a positive, I guess, if it comes to the earth. But um, I mean, what do you do at the end of the day? That's a 
uh, subject for another another day. But uh, anyways, um, uh, rest in peace to uh, Robert David Taylor. And, uh, you know, again, hopefully he went quick and uh, did not suffer in, in any pain whatsoever. I want to thank my buddy for taking me out here to show his grave. Uh, so we're out of here. We'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Uh, peace out.